Hey guys, Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. Follow up video, Mythic Edition. Uh, were we able to get our hands on a booster box? That will be answered in this video. Also, we're back on the phone with Hasbro Customer Service, and we're going to cover the prices of these cards the singles and the booster boxes. How much are they selling for? I think the price is going to blow your mind. Check it out. Thank you for contacting Hasbro. This is Jared. How may I help you? Hi, Jared. Uh, my name is Joe Mossberger. I called, this is, you probably already know who I'm, what I'm calling about, the Mythic Edition Booster Box. And mm -hmm. I spoke with a representative. I actually had the, the conversation and recording because I figured this would be an issue. But I spoke with her, uh, it, I don't remember the time, but it was like 1 o'clock or something. And they, she took down my information, said they'd give me a call back in time. But then I'm hearing from other people who claim when they call up you guys and harass you enough that they're getting bumped ahead of other people that were waiting in line way before that who had their payments reversed. Mine was reversed three times, once even with an agent on the phone. So how can I go about getting what I, what I purchased that was reversed three times, and what, what do I do? Uh, do you have an order number? Um, all I have is the item number. The order number, it tried processing three times. Three okay. times, even on the phone with you guys, and all three times it declined the declined the whatever five eighty, and I called my bank. They said it was you guys, and then on the phone uh, with one of the reps, I got a generic error code. Um, I can verify everything I'm telling you right now. I, re I recorded everything. Let me try and look up your order by the credit card that you use. Yeah, sure. Do you have the first six digits of the card? So how's it been over there? Yeah, you get a lot of upset people, I bet. Uh, we're getting a lot of calls. Yeah, I believe it. Yep. This took about an hour to get through to you today. Well, I do apologize for the long wait times. Um, like I said, we are getting lots of calls today. Perfect. So I do have your order in front of me. Good. Um, let's see. It does look like that you... Uh, we're identified as a customer which may have been impacted as we do show your order did not fully transmit in our system. Um, so it looks like uh, when you went to go place the order on Wednesday the 3rd, mm -hmm. uh, every time that you would put in your card and sometimes you would get there, sometimes you didn't, uh, the card um, would auto void. Right. So the payment wasn't connected with the order, which is why it did not submit fully in our system. Okay. So what we can do for you today, if you are still interested, is that we can replace your order uh, for one unit due to product availability. For one unit. Okay. I mean, I guess something's better than nothing. Uh, she did say two on the recording, but I mean, I'm not trying to sit here and I guess be a dick about it, so... I do apologize. Uh, you said that you called in earlier today? Uh, this is when I spoke with her on Tuesday. Um, on Tuesday, okay. upon, Yeah, when the product was released. Yeah. Gotcha. On Tuesday, there were, um, we were doing orders for a uh, max of two. Right. But as of yesterday and everything afterward, after the product was released, we were doing orders of one um, for customers that have had this issue. I will take what I can get at this point. Is there, like, going to be some kind of, uh, I don't know, perk, like free shipping or something? I mean, this has been a nightmare. Right. Yep, uh, you will receive free shipping on your order today. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's run it then. Perfect. Um, so what I can do for you is I am just going to confirm your information that's linked with your toy shop order. Um, and then I will put you on a brief hold while I input that information into our ordering system. So I'll go ahead and order you another unit. And at the end, uh, when I come back from the hold, I'll ask for payment information uh, from a major credit card. And I can go through, and that way I can fully place the order for you. And at the end, I can get you an order number uh, for your new order. Okay, that sounds good to me. Perfect. And just letting you know that this order is being placed in a different website 
than Hasbro Toy Shop, so um, you will not receive. Uh, you won't be able to see the order in your account on Hasbro Toy Shop, and same goes with the tracking information for this item. Um, if you do wish to receive tracking information, we do recommend that you call uh, early next week, either Monday to, or probably Tuesday, Wednesday, for, and then we can give that information to you then. Yeah, when is the estimated, um, like when do you guess this will actually ship out? Okay, I almost thought you were going to say 48 days. I'm like, oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> no, 48, 48 business hours, and that is why we don't have the tracking information available for you after we place the order. Understandable. Um, there won't yeah. be any tracking until it ships out. Okay, I got another question for you. Do, uh, how many yeah. units were actually made available upon uh, release? That we do not know. Okay. Um, it, just from your experience working there, I mean, do you think this is like 10,000 units, 50,000, 100,000? I rather not say. Rather um, not today, say. I can just help you place the order for the one. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Perfect. Uh, so let me just go ahead and confirm that information for you. Um, so I'll go ahead and input that um, information into our ordering system. Uh, do you mind if I put you on hold? That's fine. Reminds me of this episode from Family Guy where Stewie talked with the upward inflection in his voice. Finally got to go through and we got free shipping on the order. What's there to complain about, right? I, I have no complaints. Uh, at least they took care of me. I didn't get the two booster boxes I wanted. That's what I, I, I was hoping to do. But what are you going to do? The problem is everyone is trying to resell these. That's the major issue at hand. That's what ultimately ruined this product. I'll show you guys in a minute the prices. Thank you for holding. I can take down your card information at any time now. Um, your new order total is going to be $269.99 today. So that is for the item and the tax, not the shipping. And that transaction was successfully processed, so I can go ahead and give you a new order number now. Okay, perfect. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Perfect. And uh, I can also send that in a confirmation email to you if you like as well. Yep, you should receive that email within the next five to ten minutes. And um, believe you're all set. Uh, like I said, if you want tracking information for this order, um, we do recommend that you call back um, early to midweek next week. That way we can provide that information for you. And... Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, let me ask you, um, do you guys think you'll be doing a product like this again in the future? I do not have an answer for that. <laughs> I think it would probably be in your best interest not to. <laughs> All right, uh, and also, what was the issue that you guys were having in the beginning when uh, orders weren't processing? Were you overloaded? or? Um, so we're currently still looking into the issue to, find, to determine what exactly happened, uh, and that way we can correct it so... Uh, we can prevent it from happening again in the future. Okay, but you don't know what caused it? Uh, unfortunately, we do not have that information at this time. Okay, fair enough. All right, uh, well, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. You're welcome. I hope you have a nice day. You as well. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. All right. Awesome. Moving forward. Let's take a look at the prices. What happened? Why, why did this go up in price? It's quite obvious. I think we all knew this was going to happen. The price skyrocketed. You can get these for, I think the low I saw was 30 asking price. Uh, this is 25 starting out bid. The price just starts to go up and up and up. I'll show you some sold ones here in one second. Not not cheap. I actually picked up one bolus yesterday because I was so worried. I'm like, you know what? I gotta have something. I gotta at least have something. I picked up one for I believe 41 bucks. Probably paid a little bit too much on it. Um, the price of these will slow. I'm imagine very slowly drop, but not too much from where it's at. I don't expect it to decline um, uh, to decline much at all. And the reason being is because people are going to be sitting on these and they're going to be asking an inflated price that not a lot of people are willing to pay. Um, I know a, a few of uh, my friends ended up paying 
$500 a box on eBay to get these. One individual, one of my buddies, he paid 600 That's insane. This is why products like this should not should not exist. They, they shouldn't make something like this and limit it. Now you have, I mean, even I can, I'm going to take you to TCG player in a second and show you prices over there. And also sealed booster box product. How much are these going for sealed? You can find one of these, I think 60 bucks is the low on a That's, that's not bad considering what I've been seeing. $99, 130. I mean, the prices are ridiculous. Love to get my hands on a Tafiri. Um, everything that I get from this box, it's, it's going into the patron pool and it will sit there until it's gone. That's just how it's going to go. So if you're a patron of mine, yay, this stuff uh, is up for grabs. I feel that's the only fair way to go about it. So here's some in auction right now, $350 in auction, and the price just climbs, 405 530 asking price 625 This guy's out of his, out of his gorge here. Uh, and then here's the sold ones. So this is everything that's sold. One of these I purchased in here somewhere. Maybe I paid a little more. Did I pay forty four ninety seven? I can't remember. I paid something. Not cheap. And I mean, you can also see. I don't know if the dates on these right here. I'm not gonna get too carried away. Uh, Fifty five dollars Tezzeret. There's a sixty dollar uh, uh, Vraska. It's not bad. But I can imagine that dropping down to about the $50 range, $45.50, we can expect from that, I would assume. I mean, I'm, I'm no psychic, guys. I am no market expert on this. I really don't know what's going to happen with this. But if anything, it's going to drop a little bit. I wish we knew how many of these existed. I think that would be phenomenal if, if we knew the actual number. How many boxes were, were printed? Um, you can kind of size up just by uh, looking at the market uh, and who's all selling them. How many boxes are available to be sold right now? Um, an idea of really how many boxes are out there. I mean, kind of. Not exactly, but kind of. Right now, oh, 160 bucks. Oh, that Liliana's gorgeous. Uh, and now we're going to get into the booster boxes here. Someone crazy enough, uh, four hundred bucks. First one that the cheapest one that sold four hundred dollars was best offer, so it could have been like three fifty or something. A lot of four hundreds, and then these sellers were like, "Wow, I'm making so much money. Geez, let me just inflate the price." These were made available within, I'd say, within ten minutes of it going live of the launch, which leads me very skeptical. Um, that these people got their hands on these. Uh, I mean, I guess first come, first serve, yeah. I'm not one for tinfoil hats and conspiracy theories. Kind of somewhat I am. I think it's fun to dabble in them, uh, but I don't buy into them too much. But it almost seemed like if your name was on the list, your card didn't get bounced out. If you were a nobody, if they didn't know you, your card got bounced out. And uh, the payment was reversed. That's what it seems like. I'm, I'm just giving my opinion from what I've, what I've experienced, what I've heard from all of you guys. I've heard a lot of you guys talking about um, this product and how your payment got reversed the same way as mine. Um, I don't hear anyone that, uh, I think a couple people, I really a couple people mentioned that their payment went through. Congrats, <laughs> $600. This is ridiculous how much this is going for right now. But this is what happens, supply versus demand. I hope they never do a product like this again because this entire experience has been very sad. And it's, I don't think, it's not really Magic's fault. It's Hasbro's fault. Hasbro's responsible for this. This is corporate America. Hasbro's the one that wanted uh, to make this product. I don't think Wizards, uh, if they were standing solo right now, I don't think they would have done this because uh, they know they would have upset a lot of people. You're, you're creating a product that you there's a limited amount and only a limited amount of people can get their hands on. Everyone wants to play the game. The good thing is all these cards are reprints. Nothing in this entire box is exclusive uh, to just this product uh, other than you know a shiny border. 
I think had they done that, they would have really set a fire under people's butts, and uh, that would have upset many, many, many individuals. That's just something I don't think they can do legally. I don't, I don't think that would be wise. All right, well, um, please give me your thoughts and you know, give me some feedback on this. Uh, I want to know if you had an experience dealing with them. Uh, if not, you know, just what do you think of this product? Uh, and always, please thumbs up the videos. It does mean an awful lot. Here's TCG player. $1,400. Not bad, TCG. That's cool. Sounds like a solid deal. Market price is five twenty five ninety seven. That market price is pretty legit. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you. PLA.